What's up YouTube, back today with another video here in the fish room and in today's video we're going to be moving some fish around to different aquariums just to kind of spread some things out so stick around to the end and see what we're going to be doing. Alright so in today's video the main fish we're going to be moving today is these Eureka Reds, uh, we got some of these albino dragon bloods and a little bit of everything up in this aquarium besides the Z Rocks or yellow blazes whatever you want to call them, pretty much same fish, but yeah pretty much all the Z Rocks and yellow blazes are going to be staying in this aquarium right here and then everything else in here besides the starry nights obviously like this guy right here, the star sapphire cichlid, we got uh, yeah we got this pink OB. All these guys are going to be pulled out of here and moved down in my show tank. Besides probably these albino dragon bloods and albino pinko bee, these guys are going to be put up in their own uh, breeding group along with this albino, or not albino, but female uh, dragon blood. So yeah, we're going to be setting up a new breeding group with them guys and then thinning out some of the uh, bio load in this aquarium as well. And now in this tank right here, if you guys watched my last video, I went and got a bunch of these yellow blazes and added them to the fish room so this tank is super super overstocked so i'm going to be moving some fish out of here into my basement tank as well now i'm just going to go ahead and try to probably grab a couple more of the uh the more brighter colored uh yellow blazes to put in there for just the time being um i do have a couple of these guys already spoken for so other than that i'm probably catch them out and put them to the side too for the people that want them and then the rest of these fish are going to be on my band app available now I don't do shipping yet, but hopefully I get it figured out here in the near future. I need some buddies to help me out, figure figure a few more things out before I feel more comfortable shipping. But yeah, in the near future, hopefully I get that figured out. But anyways, I gotta go ahead and I'm debating on probably draining this tank down. I'll probably drain this tank down. So I'm gonna go ahead and drain this tank down. Bruh. And get started to catch these guys out. And sorry, I know I just repeated myself a lot, but it happens. But yeah, let me go ahead and get started doing this. I don't know exactly which ones I'm going to be pulling out of here. I'm thinking about pulling out, uh, probably catch out these fire blue Nadewis because those are also keepers. Get them down in here. I might leave these fry rides in here because these guys are also on the band app and they are available. As you can see, these guys are really, really nice. Got a super nice blaze on them. Beautiful fish. So yeah, let me go ahead and get started doing this and I'll pick up the camera here in a few. All right, guys. So as you can see, I absolutely destroyed this aquarium right here. It is all messy again it was cleared up and then now it's all dirty again what's new though but yeah anyways i went ahead and caught four of them uh yellow blazes up out of there one of the fry rise and then my two fire blue nadoes and these guys are going to be added down in my 125 gallon in the basement so before i go ahead and catch these guys up out of here because i haven't even touched this tank yet i'm gonna go ahead and get these guys started acclimating and then pick back up whenever i get this tank down draining all right guys so i went ahead and got all these fish caught up out of here so what i got out of here is Eureka Red, a Fry Rye, a Blue Otter Point, uh, there's a German Red, a Ruby Red, and Luanda Hybrid, and my Stars Night Sapphire. And then these guys, I'm gonna be setting up a new breeding group for these guys right here. So. All right guys, so I got all the new fish right here acclimating, and there's seven fish in here, and then six fish in here. So a total of 13 new fish going into this aquarium, and it needs some more stock in here to help with the regression a little bit. It's lightly stocked in my opinion. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and feed these guys while these guys are acclimating. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys that. This tank's super fun to feed. So you guys see what happened is, is whenever you're shooting YouTube videos, acclimating fish and filling up tanks, you tend to overfill stuff sometimes. So now I got a big old mess to clean up on top of everything else. Stop it, get some help. But yeah, it's the name of the game. Let me go ahead and get this mess cleaned up and then pick up to you guys at the other tank. All right guys, so just real quick before I release some guys into this tank, I wanted to go ahead and show you guys the fish up in here. And I'm going to be adding them fish into this aquarium, but I'm not going to be talking too much about it today. You guys will have to find that out in a later video. But as of right now, they're going to go into this aquarium for the time being with these guys. So 
as you can see these guys are getting nice and big and absolutely beautiful and eating great so yeah i just wanted to go ahead and show you guys these these fish real quick before i add them in here but yeah we'll talk about this aquarium in a later video so go ahead and make sure you guys hit that subscribe button and stay tuned with future updates all right guys so we're getting ready to release these fish up in here so let's go ahead and catch these guys up out of here i'm trying to show you guys them one by one that's one of them uh yellow blazes out of there. This is one of the fry rise. He's absolutely stunning. It's about time I got a fry rye in this aquarium. <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead and see. There's this guy right there. Sorry about the glass getting all wet, guys, but it is what it is. I'll come back later also and show you guys what these fish look like in the aquarium when they're settled in. Look at that guy, absolutely beautiful. Definitely adds a nice, nice piece to this aquarium. Another one. Fire blue and dewies. That's one of them. I think it's just him left. Look for more. This guy right there, he ain't really showing no color yet. Might even be a female, I'm not sure. Alright, so this one right here. So right here I have ooh, a star sapphire. Ooh, calm down, buddy. You just slap it out of the fish. Then this is the uh, German red. This t this tank already looks way more lively already. Yeah, that's the uh, Luanda and Ruby Red Hybrid. Look at the vintage on that guy. Wow! Beautiful. My bad. <laughs> All right, so here's the Blue Auto and then the Eureka Red. Look at this guy. He's a stunner. He looks crazy under that light. Very good. I think I just got this fryer where I left and nothing else. This one's from Ko Yang, and you can just tell the quality of his fish because look at that guy. He is a stunner. He ain't wanting to cooperate. We'll get him in the tank. Don't want to stress him out too much. Look at that guy. Guys are stunning. <laughs> Straight tweaked out.
one eternity later. All right, guys, so it's now the next day or two later, and I figured I'd go ahead and show you guys how these fish are doing now that they've settled in a little bit. Now, at first, there was quite a bit of aggression with uh, mainly the Venusus and the Star Sapphire at first, but since they have settled in, it seems to uh, calm down. Now, I do see a couple other fish with some nip fins, but should uh, heal back up and then have no more issues. Now, there is a couple more females in here that I got to get out of here. There's two Dragon Bloods and then like this female OB. Yeah, so I got to get them guys up out of there. But as you can see, the tank is looking great now. It's looking nice and full. It was really uh, starting to look a little empty, so. Yup. I'm definitely digging it. There's that little ruby red Lawanda hybrid. You can see he's got some nips at his fins too. But I mean, that's to be expected whenever you have them all together. Um, it should heal up and hopefully have no more issues after that initial day or two of getting into the new tank and everybody's getting used to each other so that's what i'm hoping for at least but i am going to keep an eye on these fish and everybody so all right guys so before i ended the video out i want to go ahead and show you guys this 125 gallon starry night tank with the uh yellow blaze breeding group one more time now that these guys are nice and settled in and i'm just loving this aquarium right here especially now without all of the other fish so it's just two species of fish which I can live with that. Eventually, I'll probably take them guys out of there and find something else to do with them. But for now, it looks pretty amazing. There's definitely a lot of females, but there's also a lot of really nice males up in this aquarium as well. But yeah. I just wanted to show you guys this right now real quick before I ended out the video. Alright guys, but anyways, that's probably it for today's video. If you guys like today's video and want to stay up to date with everything going on here in the fish room, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And don't forget to hit the post notification bell so you guys get updated every time I post a new video. But yeah, I'm probably going to end this out here. I'll see you guys here in the next one. I'm out.